Okay, welcome family. And here in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to design a complete church flyer right in Photoshop. Okay, guys, so please, if you're new here to my channel, kindly subscribe so that you'll be notified anytime I drop a new video. And if you're old here, salute, sir. Welcome back. Okay, so go right into the description to download the resources okay needed to design this flyer okay so these are my details after downloading just open it and let's get started okay so here in photoshop you go to file and hit on new like this and just come here to your units and take units of inches and just punch in these figures i mean insert these figures okay and yeah that is five by five and 300 resolution just go as I am doing okay guys so this is the square pixels okay and from here I'm just going to give our documents the name so let me give it my YouTube um, yeah my YouTube family yeah yeah this is my YouTube family whether you like it or not okay <laughs> let's box on okay so from here you hit on create where you are done so we want to actually find out um, the horizontal center so go to your view and then locate new guide so you know the essence of it let's go as we go on so make sure you take horizontal and type in 50 percent right here and hit on okay so there's a horizontal center so the essence is to just uh, make sure we give it a shape so just take a rectangle tool and just draw the shape or the rectangle to fill more than half of the page so that is the essence so this is actually for beginners so yeah let's box on all right guys i'm taking my move tool and just going to position it at the center like that i'm going to drag this layer down to the new layer icon and just double click here in the terminal and just go into my details so copy so right click and go to copy so copy the pink color code and just paste it right here in photoshop okay just hit on okay when you are done so this is actually what you should be having a shape on shape yeah so just drag it to down a bit and drag the layer of this down below yeah just to have a feeling like this for you okay you can as well do that with the arrow keys on the keyboard just the top and down arrow key to manipulate it all right guys so this is it guys let's go on take the first shape and then go to fx and locate blending options like this so here in your blending options you're going with gradient overlay so with the gradient overlay i've already set up my gradient so all i'm going to do is to show you how to make the gradient just key in these figures and just take in the style of radar and yeah click inside and just click inside this side or this slider and go inside let me give it white and just go into your details okay copy this first red color code okay i have left the gradient colors right inside the details so copy the red color code and paste it right here in photoshop all right so this is it guys so go into the other slider here okay and click inside the color like this okay okay just come inside your details and double click let's see copy this deep blue and just okay so this is what you should be having paste it so this is it okay just in case you were having a different color okay so this is it so this is the setup okay we are done all right guys so this is the setup so from here we have to do then let me pull up this ruler so go into the layers and then right click and go to rasterize layer style just as you saw okay from here we are bringing in another image so go to file and place embedded so let's bring in this texture so yeah so this is our texture right hold on the shift and then just drag to the right and left just as you're seeing it on the page okay to feel like that for you from here all you have to do is to go to the layer section okay right click and go to create clipping mask okay so here in your create clipping mask this is how you should be having it so just move to the page and then make sure the brighter part fills the center from here you go to your blending options and put blend mode okay to luminosity so this is how we want it to be filling before and after for you so from here you go to your layer marks give it a layer marks and take your brush tool right here okay because of my screen record i'm going to show you the settings so this is my brush size of 500 
pixels and then hardness of zero and then soft round brush okay just as you're having it okay so i'm then going to take the black color like this just to clean so black to clean and white to restore i'm going to clean this side because i don't want the light coming out of that side okay just yeah clean the side the two sides so this is it guys before and after you can also do that with shift and just click inside holding shift and click inside the layer mask simple as that okay let's import our next image so go to file and place embedded and go and then import this wheelchair so this is our wheelchair and yeah position it at the top like that okay let me position it right here so take okay when you are done from here all i'm going to do is to put blend mode on multiply so this is multiply so this is how it is blending with it so all we want to do is to give it a layer mask go and then take our brush tool so brush tool and then um so this is my brush settings guys 400 pixels and zero percent hardness and soft round brush okay i'm then going to take the black foreground color and brush of this sharp edge just as you are seeing it okay so that it blends with the background a bit at the left side and then a bit at the right side okay you can also do that or just brush of the sharp edge like that okay so this is the before and the after okay just as you're seeing it all right guys so this is how i made it okay so from here all i'm going to do is to just go to file and place embedded i want to bring in this cloth texture so just enlarge it to fill to the page like this and hit on okay when you are done okay so from here you go to filter blur and then gaussian blur so here in the gaussian blur we are going to blur about nine okay nine pixels like this and hit on okay when you are done from here we are going to drag the layer of the clothes down to all the layers i mean below all the layers like that just as you have seen it just to make it feel like that so this is actually the before and after for everything okay so this is our background so welcome to how to create a background okay guys so name it it's background okay Okay, so this is it guys this is our background guys let's proceed okay so from here you take your rectangle tool from the shape tools okay like that and draw a very nice rectangle it should be bold okay so taking my move tool let's be close this okay so double click here in this thumbnail from here let me give it a white color for now so highlight this code here and go into your details copy this um this deep color code right here so right click and go to copy okay and go right into photoshop and then right click and paste it okay right here so this is our deep color code all right just if you don't have it broad enough just go to edit and then go to free transform so here in free transform hold on shift and drag to the right like this to make it broad okay something like this is cool for us Okay, just positioning is somewhere cool. Alright, go to your shapes and then take your ellipse like this. So here in the ellipse, I want to give it a new layer because I don't want it to automatically uh, merge down into the layer below it. So just draw your ellipse right here on top like this. I'm going to give it, uh, let's give it something white for now. So copy or highlight this um color code and then just go into your details copy this pink color code i have left inside the details for you okay so copy and then paste it right here in photoshop okay so here's an okay when you are done from here go to edit and then free transform so free transform you're going to enlarge it okay just to feel something like this and try and position it at the center of um, the rectangle on top there I'm going to then duplicate the ellipse layer like this just to make a duplicate from here i'm going to double click here and this time now and give the top one a white color so this is it guys a white and a pink okay so just drag the top node like this and enlarge it okay like this bring the layer down below that of the pink ellipse like that and try and adjust it later on like this just as i am doing okay all right something like this isn't bad if you have a feeling like this thumbs up well done okay guys from here you go down into the effects and blending options okay 
we want to actually give a stroke to the white ellipse like this so here in the blending or layer style you hit on stroke or tick stroke like this let me distort it like this so from here go to the size and give it about 40 pixels and just keep the settings in mind okay so all you have to do is to go to the color section just in case you don't know how to add the color okay so go into the details and copy this violet color code right here and go back into photoshop and paste it paste the code right here and then yeah you'll be given the violet code like this so hit ok when you are done all right you already know the settings and hit ok again all right guys so this is it you should have it feeling like this on your page okay from here all we're going to do is to bring in our mind of course so go to file and place embedded and let's import in this png6 okay this is our man of god guys so this is just resizing it and i'm going to position it right on top of the shapes we have created okay so this is it guys so take okay when you are done okay so this is it before like that okay so selecting all the shapes and then going to edit and free transform and increase the shape and just pulling it to the top like this okay i mean just resizing it something cool so it is just the same old edit but just making some enlargements like that so let's bring back our man of god and then uh, position it i mean where he has to be okay so this is it okay all right this is practically um how designing goes on i mean in my yard so this is the full tutorial on how to design a church flyer so let's let's keep on all right guys just resizing it and positioning it, making sure that it is right at the center on top of the ellipse right there okay so this is it guys i'm going to then group the whole of this and name it um pasta yeah let's name it pasta for now okay guys so this is our pasta group like that so this is the before and the after so that is it that's how how you add your pasta okay guys let's go take your ellipse tool like this and make uh, a very nice rectangle so we'll go here to the fill and give it white like that okay so draw a very nice circle like this all right so taking my move tool again just going to drag it somewhere nice okay like this so from here i'm going to then import in our logo so place embedded and then we're going with this one so just place it like this so let me first put it somewhere at the white okay and give it a different color so go here into the effects and then blended options like this so here in the layer style okay you go to color valley and just give it a different color so just then copy this violet color code right here and we're going to then paste it right here in photoshop okay just as you are seeing it so hit on ok when you are done all you're going to do is to just drag the icon on top and go to edit and free transform so here in free transform you're going to let me push this slider so you're just going to resize it to i mean fill the center or just so that it enters the ellipse right there okay so control plus zero to zoom to fit to page okay selecting both and then just going to reduce the size okay just as you are seeing it so i'm going to take my type tool and i'm going with montserrat so this is montserrat okay so montserrat font and then let's go into the font style and let's take bold so montserrat bold yeah so we're going to type in the church name with montserrat bold like that okay guys let's post on okay so house so you should type as i'm typing okay so we are going to then type uh, house of liberty yeah house of liberty yeah so this is it guys so house of liberty highlight all and just going to reduce it so let's increase it like that so we just reduce the size to about 4.5 like this like that so just as you're seeing it on the page okay guys so go into the font style i want to give it something slim okay so worship so we are going to type worship so control plus a and we're going to reduce the size to three points okay all right so this is it 
okay let's go on so just increasing the va in the character section like this so that it catches up with the ends of um the house of liberty meaning the h and the y okay so this is it let's add the rest of the text okay so house of liberty center okay just going to the va in the character section to reduce the size like this okay guys um yeah so this is it so let's reduce the size of our font like that so to 2.6 is okay and just increase the va make sure the va catches up with the ends of yeah our text like this so this is it guys position it somewhere below and at the center of the page cool and easy like this so from here we are going to then type in the initials of our church name so yeah so hlwc so just as you have seen it going with bonserat but black italic okay just reducing the va back to zero and i'm then going to let me delete that so highlight all and increase the size of the text uh to about let's say four is okay four is enough i mean yeah okay so go into here to this color section and go into your details and copy um this yellow color code not the deep yellow but the yellow color code and then paste it right here in photoshop okay take down when you are done okay so taking my move to i'm then going to um going to center so highlight the whole of the text and just center align it together with the logo yeah so from the text to the logo and center align it all from here you group it and then you can also group with control plus g so this is our church logo just name it so go to edit and free transform and just going to reduce the size for now okay all right guys position it get to somewhere to position it okay all right this is part of the designing process okay guys so this is it so let me increase it a bit because i just realized uh, it was too small okay guys so from here all i'm going to do is to take my type tool again and yeah so let's go and type in um, our present so let's go inside i'm typing the present okay not that so presents all right present like this okay so control plus it to highlight and then just taking my brush script empty so just increasing the size i increase it to about six points and then go into the color section right here copy this yellow color code right here so from here paste it right here in photoshop okay so go here into the character section and increase the va to about 900 yeah let's see let's complete this with 1000 so increase the va to about 1000 okay so that it spread wide okay to bypass the church name okay so let's then increase the church name like this a bit okay because i want it to be bold okay so that it becomes more visible all right position the uh, represents text right here uh, at the center so that it be in line with the church name from here all you have to do is to just go into your type tool and take your type tool again so we are then going with montserrat for this one okay so go into your character section and reduce va back to zero okay so we are going with montserrat black italic for here so giving it a white color code oops white color for now okay just going to resize it so let's send it to 20 points okay 20 points is okay yeah this is okay so this is uh where we type in the sunday okay so sunday oops sorry yeah why like that okay so sunday like this go to edit and free transform because you want to resize it okay so yeah just as you are seeing it resizing it like that to fill the page just as you are seeing it okay let's go on all right guys you can do that by holding and dragging on the knots okay inside and outside to increase and reduce it okay okay just as i'm doing for the church name like that all right guys so let's box on okay so taking my 
rectangle tool and I'm going to draw a rectangle right below the Sunday text like this okay all right guys so this is it so here in this slider you just input um, a figure so make sure you uncheck this chain icon and come to the top left icon here or slider then hit 30 pixels okay and then come back to the bottom right corner there to give it 30 pixels just to have it rounded like this take back your move tool and double click here in this thumbnail so right here all i'm going to do is sample this color on our page okay hit okay when you are done all right from here i'm going to type my type tool and then yeah we're going to then type in what Montserrat font style of bold so Montserrat bold for this one okay so let's go typing in transformation okay so sunday transformation yeah so that is it so it was like sunday transformation service so just increasing the size to about 12 and taking the font style of semi bold okay so semi bold we are actually finally ending on semi bold so once we semi bold and reduce the size to 10 points like this okay so go into the color session and then come into your details so copy this violet color code here and right here you are going to then uh, paste it here so this is it this is how you get it so, all right go into your character session and increase the VE to about uh, something nice to fill the um, shape like that okay so this is it let me go back to my move tool and just hold on the node or press ctrl plus t to free transform like this so enlarge it okay a bit okay just to fill the void at the sides inside the shape like this and then make sure you manipulate the va to about 200 so select the shape together with the text and give it this center alignment horizontally and vertically like that so something cool for you like this okay so take your type tool again we are then going to type in with white okay so let's give it white for now but then let's go into our details so copy this um blue color code okay so copy right click and go to copy and then paste it right here in photoshop this is our blue color code okay so from here what we are going to do is just reduce the va back to zero okay and then go into your yeah font layer or fonts and take the brush script MT. all right link is right in the description for all the fonts used in designing here okay so all you're going to do is you just increase the va after typing the service okay so increase the va to about 400 okay something cool not all that big from here you're going to take your move tool like this so all i'm going to do is to just um search for all the text here together with the shape here and just align it up to the center something like this whoops so this is the center photoshop gave me but i don't want it that way so just making sure i center it my own way okay so this is how i made it all right so yeah so this is it the whole of that so select all and group with the group player icon or press ctrl plus g on the keyboard to group as well okay just as you're seeing it from here it goes to edit and locate free transform just click on it and then come here and then enlarge it make sure you position it at the center just as i have done okay moving into the top with the top arrow key on the keyboard okay just as you see in it so yeah this is a sunday all right so let's box on so go to my type tool and i'm going to then type in what yeah a deep font a deep colored yeah a deep color like that so copy the violet color code and then you're going to actually paste it here in photoshop so this is it you're going to type with this so sending va back to zero like this and then we are going with the font montserrat so montserrat for us and then we're actually going with black italic so montserrat black italic again so yeah typing in come worship okay come worship with us something like that okay guys so just going to reduce the size to something cool okay so guys uh, 
with all my efforts kindly like and subscribe to this channel a uh, video okay just to keep the family moving on all right guys um yeah thank you for liking and subscribing okay let's proceed all right guys i'm going with montserrat sebi boat okay for this one so it's like come worship with us okay so yeah just reducing the size to about 10 points okay and going to my character section and i'm then going to increase the va just to catch up with the aims of the come worship so that is your motive for increasing the va so that is it hit okay when you get something like this as you see it on the screen all right guys take it you take your move to after that and let me close this take this with us okay and then make sure you go into your shape and take your rectangle shape I'm going to give it a deep font because we're actually going to give it a deep font. You cannot do that later, but then create a very nice rectangle like this. Okay, from here, okay, you come in here to manipulate this figure. So make sure you uncheck this chain icon and go to the top left corner. And then let me give it something nice. So, so 70 pixels, okay, to make it rounded just like mine okay so 70 pixels at the top left corner and then 70 pixels at the bottom right corner just to have it feeling like this like mine on the page okay from here we have to do is to go to edit and then free transform the rectangle i mean the rounded rectangle we have just created like this hold shift and drag inside like this to yeah drag inside like that just as I have done, okay, just making it um, broad enough, okay, you can as well hold shift and then drag downwards just to make it broad like this. I'm then going to duplicate by dragging to the new layer icon there and increase the size with Ctrl plus T or just increase the size like that. So go and then select this shape, the yeah, shape like this and then put the fill off or close it and then just bring on the stroke like that okay so i'm then going to give the stroke of um three pixels yeah three pixels take back my move tool and then let's go right inside so I'm going to press ctrl plus t or hold on the node just click on the node it is going to transform it all right just bring it in something small okay that's what do that um with the arrow keys left or right arrow key on the keyboard actually arrow keys on the keyboard from here all you have to do is to uh, let me give it something bold so a stroke of four just to make the stroke bold a bit yeah from here all you have to do is to go to the stroke and then right click and then copy rasterize layer okay go to rasterize layer like that but here all you have to do is to take your rectangular marquee tool like that and make a selection over the stroke okay like this so from here you go to edit and then go to cut so they have cut the rectangle all you have to do is to just come to the this piece okay top right piece like that go to edit and then cut and then all you have to do is to come to this other piece so bottom left corner there and just go to edit and cut it out so you should have it looking like this because this is actually how i wanted it to be okay so this is a full procedure so yeah from here you take your type 2 and just go into your character section reduce the va back to zero like this okay guys so this is it for you so go into your color section and let me give it white for now okay and we are going with montserrat okay black okay montserrat black so meaning the font style font style is black so just impose this so 8 30 a.m so this is it and from here all you have to do is take your move to press ctrl plus t and or you can also do this go to edit and free transform that's it for beginners okay let's box on guys so all you have to do is resize it nicely i mean on the shape like this we are resizing we are resizing okay let's go on so take okay when you are done so highlight this am and go into the color section all you're going to do is to just copy highlight and then right click and go to copy copy this deep yellow 
and then paste it right here in Photoshop. All right, guys, click OK when you are done. Tick when you are done. Go to hold on Alt and then just drag downwards to duplicate. All you are going to do is just make changes. So here it is going to be 11, 11 30 am. So you already have the am done and edited. So all you have to do is just proceed. Okay, let's go on, guys. So here so I zoomed in because we are going to add another shape. So take your rounded rectangle tool and create this very nice rectangle right beside our time. Okay, so this is it. It should actually catch up with the um, top and down. I mean, edges like that. Okay, going to give it white. Okay, just as you're seeing, I'm going to take my type tool again, horizontal type tool with this one. Okay. Which I, we can actually do this with the other type too, but then I'm going with horizontal. Yeah, so let's go. So all you're going to do is to type in the GMT. So we're going to type in the GMT, hit on enter, and then type M and hit on enter and type T. They are kind of close, so go to the character section and take increase this um, A symbol with the top arrow, arrows on the side. It's okay, something like that. Okay, just reduce the size all right and then come back to the same icon and just yeah make sure you have it looking something nice that can fit within the shape there okay so then we are going with Mont montserrat semi bold okay the font style is semi bold all right guys let's box on okay so here i'm then going to take my type tool again and i'm going to type in so it's kind of the same color that's why you're not seeing so let me give it white for now and then highlight this code and oops and just go into your details okay copy this yellow color code right here and paste it right into photoshop all right hmm. see how i'm struggling i have just copied it all so go to the yellow color code copy it again i have just copied it again it was my bar so I'm just doing it so then let's continue guys okay guys so here you go and then you take the brush script empty font like this so then type in this and every like this and every sunday yeah this and every sunday okay so this and every sunday like that so control plus a to highlight all and just go to the text and then we're going to then reduce it like that a bit to about seven points like that go to your character section and increase the va like this to about yeah 300 is okay so make sure that the motive is to make it catch up with the ends of the i mean the whole time there okay that is it guys so this is the all of the text or let me say the time I'm then going to make sure this text fills the center. So I'm going to enlarge it a bit like this. Okay. I'm making sure uh, it fills the center. Moving with the arrow key, which is the left and right arrow keys on the keyboard. Okay. So we are done with the arrangement of the time. So this is it. Highlight all of it and group with Ctrl plus G or hit on the group layer icon after highlighting and we are good to go so i'm then going to name this time because it is our time all right let's box on let me group this two okay with us welcome worship with us so yeah i just grouped that one okay let's box on let's box on from here you go into your shape and take your rectangle two like this and just draw a very nice rectangle right here okay so this is the type of rectangle you should draw on your page like this so double click right here in this terminal and go into your details and then just copy this uh, violet color code i mean you won't be having the same color automatically so just copy and paste it right here in photoshop all right so this is it this is it guys you have it on your page it shouldn't catch the bottom of the page but then somewhere 
to the point that it is hanging on the page okay that is the rectangle okay so let me zoom in and take your type tool again and just okay give it a white color for now okay and then go into your character section and reduce va back to zero okay so this is it guys i'm actually going to type in with montserrat so font style of black so montserrat black mm, yeah so let's go with the italic so montserrat black italic so this is our venue okay so, um, highlight all with control plus a and go into this color section come inside your details like this copy this yellow color code right here oops not this so deep yellow color code okay let's go on guys so from here all you have to do is to paste it right here in photoshop and you will have it looking like this so easy peasy okay guys let's go so just reduce the size of about eight points okay and yeah taking my type tool again i'm going to take the font style of um extra bold so give it white color so Montserrat extra bold like this and let's type in our church premises so more like venue where is it at at the church premises oops we don't want that okay yeah i was actually trying to highlight it but then all we have to do is just position it so that it will more be like a, a right alignment okay kind of thing okay okay guys let's go on so i'm then going to type in the venue so i just sent okay you kind of don't know this location so you just um you can as well insert the same but into your your page okay uh, your trial work okay or just try and then come up with a new location and then uh let's go on but all the same you can as well position it just as i am doing okay so i'm going to take montserrat semi bold for this one and then reduce the size to five points okay let's go on so our right alignment has to be achieved okay so just as you're seeing it nicely and properly down okay you should do it neatly i mean better than this one all right Make sure you don't tell anyone okay so select all and then hold on alt and drag to the right okay to make a duplicate so rearrange it and make sure it looks like um, a left alignment kind of thing so you should make sure you double click in the venue and here you're going to add your your, your text okay so for more info i'm adding the for more info yeah for my info like that so i'm then going with Montserrat black i don't want it slanted anymore for this side okay so this is what i want okay so double click here and just type in call or whatsapp so here we're going to type in call or whatsapp with the same font style and size yeah nothing will change it is just the first one that I'm, I changed the font style, but then it is still the same size and font. Yeah, so just add the number. So here you can add your telephone number over here just for trial. Okay, we are practicing and no harm. Okay, so let's go on. All right, guys, this is it. All you have to do is to align it so that you get something like the left alignment. Okay, so take are done when you are actually done okay position it nicely just as i am doing okay guys so this is what you should be having so zoom in in with alt and the scroll wheel in and out to okay so by holding on the alt you're as well doing the i mean in and out movement on the scroll wheel from here you go into your shape and then take your ellipse tool and draw a very nice circle like this okay so here in the circle double click in this thumbnail and then give it a white color okay so this is it zoom out with control plus zero okay so let me draw so give it a new layer so that it does not merge automatically into the shape below it okay so this is it 
12 very nice ellipse okay double click here in this terminal okay and sample this yellow color you have it you already have it in your details you can as well do it by going into your details and then copy this deep yellow color code okay and just paste it right here in photoshop so beginners i salute you sir okay guys let's go Control plus T to free transform and just make sure you reduce it. Okay, it shouldn't be bigger than that of the white ellipse. Okay, something like this isn't bad. So duplicate by dragging to the new layer icon here and just going to give it a very deep form, um, deep color like that. So this is it, guys. So control plus Z to undo, move it on top. Okay, to the top like this and drag the layer down below, just as I have done. Oh, just as I have done okay guys so position it something like this just as i am doing so select all of it and just reduce it so you're going to reduce the size okay like this check done when you're actually done okay so this is it that is the whole of the location together with um then for more information so yeah so let's for short name it uh, location so this is our location for short okay let's box on so from here i am then going to take my ellipse and draw a very nice circle on top here it's kind of the same shape so this is it let me give it a different color so that you guys can see so this is it guys all right so position it right here okay okay so let me show you guys this so here you have to go to edit and go to free transform so here in the free transform you just have to uh, stretch it to the right like this by holding on the shift and move it i mean drag to the right just to make this oval shape from here you have to drag this new layer to this new layer icon double click here in this thumbnail and go into your details and copy this deep yellow color code in the details yeah these are details so paste it right here and there you have it all you have to do is to shift it to the right a bit like this and drag its layer down below that of the white ellipse layer okay there we have it you can also manipulate it with the uh, arrow keys on the keyboard i mean the left and right arrow keys select both and then go to edit and free transform so free transform just to resize it make it small a bit small okay yeah take down when you're actually done yeah this is it from here you you have to take your type tool and learn how to um type in the name of the man of god or the man of god so that you can use it in your next flyer design okay let's go on so with this we're going to need this pink color so copy the pink color code and paste it right here in photoshop okay so this is the pink color code we need but we are going with um the font brush script mt so here we're going to type in um our host he's our oops he's actually our host so yeah host like this okay just going to increase the size a bit just as you're seeing it guys just as you are seeing it okay Okay, so we are then going to type in with the font Montserrat right here. Okay, so yeah, we are going with Montserrat medium. So Montserrat medium for this one. So this is our pasta. So more or less like uh, pasta. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, pasta. Yes, okay. So let's go. So you come into your... Um, font style and take italic okay and copy this or uh, sample this color you already have the violet color code in the details so no need all right so yeah position it beside the host and take done when you are done so we are then going to type in another text okay so we are going to type in with montserrat but montserrat bold okay so foster yeah Take down when you're actually done. Take your move to uh, go to edit and to free transform. Okay, just enlarge it okay? just to catch up with the ends of the host together with the pasta. So that is the 
the H and the R at the end of the pasta. Yeah, take your rectangle tool like this in your shape tools like that and just draw a very nice rectangle to catch up with the ends of the foster right there okay something nice not all that big okay and not all that broad like that so this is also cool and come here and make sure um, you have this um, movement going on okay so move the top left corner to about 20 pixels and the top right corner to about 20 pixels the same just to have it like what i am having on my page okay we are going to type in with this like that so i'm going to type in with the font style montserrat black italic okay so we just i just reduce the size to six points like this typing in um the name of the man of god so cornerstone so who is Pastor Foster Cornerstone? Also, I was just about to say Pastor Cornerstone. <laughs> it's kind of the same. So go here to FX and locate blending options. So here it's called layer style. So you just select stroke and yeah, take the stroke of about two and just keep these settings. Yes. So let's go. So let me distort. Okay, let me cancel that. So copy this violet color code. Okay, copy and then go right into Photoshop. Okay, and paste. I just did that because you won't automatically be having the same violet color code. So yeah, so you do that when you get here. All right, guys. So this is the before. Oops. So this is the essence of the stroke, guys. So yeah, just bringing it out like that from the white. Okay, so there we have it, guys. So this is our pastor's name. So you select all of it and go to edit and free transform. So with a free transform, we just have to position it at the center of the ellipse. Okay, just as you are seeing, something like this isn't bad. Okay, so okay, let's see. Let me see. So this is practically the editing that goes on. I mean, something like the behind the scene in almost all church flyer designs okay i mean almost all flyers okay so yeah yeah so don't be bothered but i'm just trying to show you the step by step it's a complete church flyer design so yeah so just select all of it something like this okay let's select these two so select the two shapes okay and just reduce it the two circles and just reduce the size a bit okay so from here all we're going to do is select that on the text and position it correctly at the center nicely like this so from here we are going to select all of it and group it so just click on the group layer icon and name it uh, pastas okay so we actually have pasta and pastas so this is our pastas name okay so there we have it guys very nice and easy for us okay so here we're going to uh, tools and then take our rounded rectangle tool like this to inside our shape tool okay so right here we take our rounded rectangle tool just um, make or create this rounded rectangle just as I have done okay so I want to actually show you this okay you see all this okay you are coming to just manipulate it so make sure you check that chain icon there okay so you're actually not seeing it so let me um, do this so please forgive me for this so push this slider yeah so that you guys can see what's actually happening so yeah let's give it one to affect all the sides okay so actually give it 10 pixels okay so let's set it inside because we don't want it showing all that big like that you can do that with the left and right arrow keys on the keyboard all right guys let's box on let's box on we actually box you know in the box with the box okay guys take your polygon tool right here and then um, make sure you take the size of three from here you bring in your vertical ruler like this and just drag downwards on the ruler okay to make a very perfect rectangle facing 
downwards like that for us okay so this is it you can as well hold alt and drag to the top to make a duplicate that is our first duplicate and this is our second duplicate so hold alt and drag to the top so make about four triangles yeah i think i said rectangle for the triangle so kindly forgive me so select all and then right click and go to match shapes like that from match shapes you go to edit and then free transform or press ctrl plus t so we are just resizing it okay this is how most of um the shapes are created so yeah this is it take done when you're actually done so this is it guys this is actually dead spice up something i mean it's spice up the design so hold it and drag it to the new layer icon there just to make the duplicate it has been duplicated oh it has been duplicated yes yeah, so so from here let me push this slider to the right like this so you guys to see what is going to happen here so bring it right here to the right and then double click in this uh thumbnail and give it a sample color of violet because i want it deep so from here go to edit and locate free transform so here in free transform you right click and then flip vertical click on flip vertical so this is what you get if you follow if you followed yeah yeah so that is it for you guys so this is actually um literally the shapes so the whole of the shapes we created afterwards yeah so this is it guys so this is what you get when you follow all right i just hope you guys followed all right guys um yes so i'm just checking if i have missed any step okay so if i have missed any step i'll tell you all right guys i did not miss any step so guys thank you for clicking to watch this video i really appreciate your effort for clicking to watch it okay may god bless you and please don't forget to subscribe i just hope this video has been helpful if it has kindly hit on the like and subscribe button to help the family grow i love you see you in my next video all right bye bye